Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a Dollar Tree haul. And it is a massive Dollar Tree haul. It's a little over a hundred dollar haul today. So, um, yeah, and it's kind of all over the place, but I mean, I'm tr I tried to group everything together, but who knows if I did or not. It's two big, huge bags. So I'm gonna get through the personal stuff or things that are not crafty first. So let's get it going here. So I bought, I found these little bedroom slippers. Aren't they cute? I thought they were so cute. And um, for Valentine's Day, I guess. But, um, so I picked these up. And these were in the, and of course, you know, the Dollar Tree Plus section. And um, then I've also found these. Aren't these like adorable? Little cable next slots with the little hearts, and these are Valentine Eve stuff, so um, I just thought those were adorable. So I picked those up. As you can tell, I'm in a hotel room right now, but the next few days I will not be, so I've tried to get a room so I could get some uh, videos done and that kind of stuff. So um, then let's see, I'll just go with this part first. Then I picked up this moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, it's moisture and hydrate. It is by one of my favorite, you know, ones, uh, Bolero. It just looks so chic, does it not? This is coconut milk and sweet almond oil. So, see how those do. They smell really, really good. Now, I saw um, in Crafty Girl Blogs, she picked up one of these, too. I'll pick that up in a minute. She picked up one of these, but she didn't like the flavor. <laughs> oh, sorry. She didn't like the... Um, flavor. My Dollar Tree uh, thing is not working the greatest today. Gotta figure out what's going on with it. Sorry about that. So then I found a new line of makeup I wanted to try. It's called Essentially Ageless and it's Hydrating Serum Foundation and it looks really nice. I got the medium, the light to medium and it just reminds me of something of L'Oreal, but it's not. But it has uh, the hyaluronic acid in it. So I picked up that. Along with that, I picked up, oh, where is it? I picked up the concealer that came with it. And then I picked up the Essentially Ageless Light to Medium Powder with the hyaluronic hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. So I'm going to try those out. Drop a little thing below if you'd like to see me try these out on camera. And then I did pick up some more blush. This is called Pink Blush. Of course, this is LA Colors. This is what I usually use. I'm thinking it might be a little light now that I'm looking at it in person. I mean, you know, closer up, but we'll see. And then I did pick up these eyeshadows. This is called Almost New, and it's six color eyeshadow crease proof color um it is all day wear and it's by la colors but i am a very much a neutral person and i just love those colors and because i don't like buying makeup brushes all the time because they wind up in my crafting set you know i picked up these um, eyeshadow applicators so i thought these would be good to use and i didn't have to keep buying brushes and then i wanted to try the makeup blender sponge but then they had one that was on like a little handle. So I picked that up to try that. So that is, I think all my personal care items. <laughs> I'm not sure, but you know. All right, now, so I did pick up a few little grocery items. I picked up a couple of these little Lunchables. It's just the cracker and the cheeses. Um, this one is ham and cheese. I love these things just to snack on. And I'm looking for some lower carb, you know, a lot less sugar stuff because um, I am diabetic. So, But I did find these caramel, caramel, caramel apple crisp. And these uh, look really good. They have some original. They have cinnamon, Granny Smith, Golden Delicious, and Sour Apple. These are the only two that I found. I mean, the only one that I found was the caramel apple. But they look really good, and I'm excited to try those. I'll let you know how they are. I picked up one bag of chips because I'm going to have a naughty moment. 
if I can find it. Where did it go? Oh. And I picked up a thing of white nacho cheese. <laughs> I know, you're supposed to eat them with um, uh, nachos, but tortilla chips have way more carbs than those potato chips did. Then I picked up this. Now, I tried one of these in a hotel, the hotel lobby that I stayed at yesterday. And, um, well, actually, the one I'm in now. And that was the Bang Juices. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this, but I had the peach mango, and it was so good. So, I got just the Georgia's peach, the Georgia peach sweet iced tea, and then I got the lemon drop iced tea. And all of these are zero calories, zero carbs, um, natural flavors, purified water, and then the vitamins and stuff they have in them. So, and it doesn't have like any other kind of stuff, but they were plenty sweet to me. I picked up some jasmine rice because I'm going to have beans and rice tonight. I had some beans left over uh, from Thanksgiving Day, and I'm just going to put some rice in them. I mean, not Thanksgiving Day. Lord help me, New Year's Day. <laughs> and then while I'm here, I'm taking advantage of the microwave. And I bought some of the Barilla Ready Pasta. Um, that comes in like the Jamelli, this kind, and the Pino Pasta kind. So you can cook it in the microwave, and it comes out perfectly al dente. Or you can put it in a pan with a couple of teaspoons of olive oil and just heat it up like that. And that's what I usually do. I've eaten this before when I'm cooking in the car. Because, you know, I have my little mini pan, and um, I just plug it into my Blue Yeti, and um, I cook, and I'll just put this in a pan, and I'll mix it with a little olive oil, and I put just a tiny little bit of water in it to kind of steam it a little bit, and I'll put the lid on it. It comes out perfect. Now, these i got to hurry up and get back in the freezer, but um, these are mango chunks. And I will say one thing, if you buy free, buy it from Dollar Tree, unless you need a great big bag, because you really get more bang for your buck. This is eight ounces of mango, and eight ounces of mango in Walmart is almost four dollars. So, and then I just picked up Hunt's pasta sauce to go with the, the thing. This is a meat flavored. I don't know if it's got meat in it or not, but I don't really care. And then I picked up a little bit of milk. Because I am going to take those um, mango chunks and I'm going to be reviewing a product that I got. And um, I thought I would share those for you. So let me put this cold stuff up and we'll come right back. Okay, I'm back. And I just have this little bag right here. Um, I bought me another steering wheel cover because I stretched mine out. I was putting my phone up in it to hold it and I stretched it out so... Um, and then I bought some more tape. And then I got these push pens. And they're so pretty, guys. I was thinking you could take, like, a box or something and use these push pens and use them, like, almost like, you know, the little, how they have the ornate strips around with the buttons and stuff. But these are velvet push pens. These are the navy ones. Oops, sorry for all that glare. Um, and then these are the kind of off-white ones. And then they also had the pearl push pins, so I picked those up as well. And then when I was standing there, they had this um, rack of stickers and stuff, and this was with it, and I really loved this. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it, but it just was so wonderful. It was a sticker, and it's about uh, colorblind, about uh, love making magic happen it's just all these cute little stickers so i picked that up i don't know what i'll do with it but you know so now for the feast de raisons i started valentine day shopping because i like i said i'm gonna make some valentine day journals and then i got this bag right here and it's cute the other one I got was just all hearts, but I did find some things in um, here that I didn't think was I'd ever see in Dollar Tree. Oops, let me put that back in the bag. I'm just trying to hunt them all out because I was like, 
What? Now you may have seen these before, but I have never, ever seen these. Okay, that must be all of them. Felt flowers, look at this. I haven't seen Dollar Tree make any flowers like this. Okay, so first they have like the all, the all red. It's coming across orange, but trust me, it's red. Then they have a whole bunch of pink um, foam, like pink. These are foam, and they're pink, just like little buds. Now, these are felt, and that's why I said I've never seen those before. But then they have the foam roses, which I'm pretty sure we've seen those. Then they have the felt flower in the purple and pink. And then they have the foam roses in the white. Now, they had another color of these, and I did not like the color, especially for something I'm going to be doing. But look at these felt and leaves, flower leaves. It's called a felt and leaves um, kit. Now, it comes with the flowers. It comes with different leaves, and it even comes with super glue for you to dry them. And I think they were, they're trying to say put these like on clothes or something like that. But I don't know, but um, but you get super glue, the kind that you get in the um, tool department, and then two flowers. But aren't these cute? These remind me of the little ribbon flowers I used to make by, um, by stripping the ribbon and then rolling them up on a pencil. But I just thought that was really cute. And then I picked up some DIY stickers, like the little wood stickers. Because, like I said, I'm going to be doing some journals. Whoops, sorry. Y'all, I'm telling you, this thing's driving me nuts today. And I'll show this to you last. And I also picked up some um, felt stickers. Okay, so next in line. Um, they didn't, they had a lot of things out of order. But these were in the garden section, Okay. So, they're called Craft Shape Six Packs. Look how cute those are. Oh, my goodness. I know this is new. I've never seen this before. And the Indoor Garden, garden Collection. Um, this is a Greenbrier Dollar Tree product. But um, I just thought that was so cute. And you get six pieces. And then they also have the Craft Shapes. So, I'm not sure what all is in here. I know I can see like a flower pot. A power, it's got a wheelbarrow, so different flower shapes and stuff. And so, I made you like a spring journal, may use some of those in there. And then, uh, this is my aged looking one. You know, if you pay attention, Dollar Tree has two of the two different kinds of these, and this is in the floral garden section too the lacy one, but this one is more of a vintage color one. And then, when I get to it. Here it is right here. They have more of a white color. So I never really paid attention to that before, but that's what it is. Then I picked up some of these little tiny pearls. Um, I'm going to make some, like, you know, those things you put on top, put on the side of your books. <laughs> I can't even think right now. Let me just get everything out of the bag. So that way I don't have to keep digging. Oh, I found some more of those wooden things from the garden collection. That way I can start putting some of the stuff back in here. Oh, I did get another flower one. Okay. There we go. Um, I did pick up another one of these, the yellow and purple one. I forgot about those. But you can see, like, the leaves and stuff in them. So I just thought those were really cute. And then also in the garden collection, they have these little um, 3D ladybugs and bumblebees. So I thought that was really cute for a spring album. Or whatever and then they had the little 45 piece box little tiny like little shallow box 
of butterflies and flowers. Isn't that cool? So I got those. And then I picked up some iridescent beads. That These are they're pink, but they're iridescent. And I thought they would be cute to make uh, a chunky charm. That's what I was thinking about. To make it a little charm or something to go on like the journals and stuff. And then I picked up these little boxes to put um, my um, little beads and those little push pins in. Okay, and then I also picked up these jewel borders. I thought they'd be pretty and some journals. And I'm not sure if I'll use these or not, but I mean, I, I probably will. But I just had to pick up my little, you know, now Dollar Tree's had these forever. You know, the little sweet um, donuts and heart candy and stuff like that. But I also think it would be really cute if you want to make a sweet, like a sweet album or, you know, a theme of sweets and stuff junk journal or whatever and of course i picked up some heart doilies now i did not pick these up in the red they did have red i didn't get them in red because when we junk journal we write on them and stuff and i just figured i want to do these i may even coffee dye these but i'm not sure yet and then this was really nifty um i saw this in the crafter square out it is a canvas bag it's got the handle going into it right now and it's like burla and it zips like this. And then the handle is really long, so you can wear it like a crossbody. But how cute is this to DIY and put something on it? And that's exactly what I'm going to do for my granddaughter. So we'll see what goes on it. I also picked up some cotton twine. Now, if I use this twine to sew any of my journals together, what I usually do is take um, a waxing and rub it, rub and wax over it so that it stays a little bit better. So we'll see about that. But these are really pretty. It was red and pink and white and then um, pink. I also picked up some foam tape because I'm going to be needing that. And then I picked up, now I've seen other places that have the fabric for, um, well, not other places, other people's homes, have the fabric for, like, Valentine's Day, and they didn't have it there, but I did find some pink. But this is a new item, and I know I haven't seen it before, and y'all let me know. It is a Crafty Square. It's called Craft Fabric, and it has um, two inches by 36 inches strips, and you get three strips, and this is the colors they had. Now, they did have one that was like spaceships and stuff like that, obviously for a boy. But wouldn't this be cute to use on a spring journal? So, I did pick that up. And then, I also picked up some ribbon. And the ribbon, it says, um, the, I got the one that looks more vintage and stuff. I didn't really get the white ones, even though they're lovely. This one says, I picked you. And then we have this one with the hearts. And then this one is just the red border, like the, uh, you know, just the hearts or whatever. Those would be good on the edges of journals. And then I picked up uh, this one with the little, um, I don't know what he is or what he's supposed to be. Maybe a little hedgehog or whatever. I'm not sure, but he's cute. So, I did pick that up, and I was looking for the heart lace that they pick up for Valentine's Day, and I know that I've seen people haul it, but I couldn't find any, and it's just so frustrating for me. So, I'm still looking for that because I really want to use that in my journals. Now, I don't know about you, but I love, 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 love. The handmade cards at Dollar Tree. I was like, oh my stars. These are gorgeous. I've not seen Dollar Tree do any of them like that before. And they're 3D. They are handmade. But I am going to be using these in journals and stuff. Of course, I may give one away. I don't know. But this one says, you feel my heart. Look. Oh, God. 
I may have to take the plastic off of them so y'all can see them. I should have done this beforehand. I apologize, but, um, well, we're just going to leave it. I'll try to get it. There we go. There's, look, and it's a shaker. Takes, I mean, you have to shake it a little bit, but, and it just says you fill my heart with lots of love. This one, I like you a lot, hey? Look how cute that is. And there are three D, and it says, just says Happy Valentine's Day. I might can send that to a friend, you know. I don't have a sweetheart, so whatever. And this says, To My Sweet Valentine. Look at that. Cute. And it says, I do not know what I would do without you. Happy Valentine's Day. And it's even got little donuts on the inside. Of course, when I don't journal with these, I cover up the sentiment or whatever. And we, uh, okay, this one got me, y'all. It just got me. A couple of these last ones did, but all of me loves all of you. Can't, oh my gosh, you've got to see this. I don't want to glare you to death, but. There we go. How stinking cute. I was like, I love it. And this one is a little bear that says, I love you barely much, very much. A hug from my heart to yours. Isn't he cute? And this one got me too. It says, I love you. It has a little tassel on it. Will you be my Paulentine? You can tell I miss my dogs really bad. <laughs> uh, but that that's just, it got my heart. And this one. I love the sentiment. It says, I'm grateful for every moment of my life with you by my side. Because I love you with all my heart and soul. Happy Valentine's Day. Now, these aren't. Dollar Tree cards. I mean, these are voila or whatever, but they are distributed by Green um, Dollar Tree. And you don't say anymore. I just went goo goo gaga over the cards and stuff. The last couple items I got were I got a candle. This is Clarity. It's for Clarity, whatever. I did get one of those. And then on the artsy aisle, they have the Jot and the $5 artsy aisle all together. But on the Jot part, now Jot's changing their labels if you haven't noticed that. But look, y'all, metallic crayons. Remember how they used to give us a little box with five metallic crayons? This is a whole box of metallic crayons. There's uh, 24 in there. Yep, 24. Those are all the colors. Look how pretty those are. So I will use those. And then I finally broke down and bought these because I want to try them. It's a dual tip brush and fine tip marker set. So there you go. I finally broke down and got them. Um, I don't know if you'll see them before this video comes out or not, but you might. Anyway, my friends... That is my Dollar Tree haul. And, um, so, yeah, I, I kind of went a little wild in Dollar Tree, I admit. But, you know, being in the hospital, in and out, in and out, all that kind of stuff, I, I miss going to Dollar Tree. <laughs> I, um, I just haven't been in, you know, I was in withdrawal. <laughs> uh, and I don't know if I showed you. This is the other bag that I bought. That's cute. So what I'm going to do with the bags um, is when I when I get off my crafty stuff done and everything, because I'm keeping my Valentine stuff in that bag, um, I'm going to uh, get goodies in those bags and give them to my grandchildren so I don't keep them on. But anyway, guys, like I said, it's good to be back. Good to be able to do a Dollar Tree haul. So keep an eye out for the rest of my videos, and they will be coming. And I will talk to you guys later. God bless.
Have a good day. Bye.